afternoon. I'm off work. September 2nd. I am currently driving out to where I'm going to be hunting for the weekend. I'm going to hike in tonight and uh, spend three nights in there and try to get antelope or deer. I'm going to tag for both. So should be interesting. Alright. There's the truck. Got all my stuff. Loaded down for potentially three days back in here. It's hot. And it's not, it's eight, about 85 degrees, so it could be worse. Could be better. Um, anyways, looks like there's five other trucks at the parking lot. But there's plenty of public land. And by the looks of things, I'd guess that four of the trucks are camping at the lot and just day hiking in every day so I've got seven miles to get to where I want to be camping get that done tonight and then Will is going to be hiking in in the morning to meet up with me so tonight there's an antelope back in here I really want to kill uh, messed up the first time I kind of put a stock on him I only saw him from like a thousand yards away. I was like, yeah, I mean, he's a decent antelope, whatever. But uh, last weekend, I hiked in six gallons of water in here. So we have water back there where we're going to be camping. And uh, I saw him again. So I'm like, I'm going to get close. Got to a couple hundred yards and... <sighs> I mean, for a third choice unit... Dude's a stud, so hopefully he's still alive. Hopefully nobody's found him. Like I said, he's probably seven, eight miles from the truck. So I doubt well, many people would want to do that for an antelope, but that's my goal tonight is to find him, get a stock on him, and then we'll, uh, unless I bump into a deer. We got deer and antelope tags, so main goal tonight's that antelope. Rest of the weekend is deer. But if I see that antelope, I'm gonna stalk him every time I see him. So, anyways, got seven miles to go. Uh, all right, <clears throat> kind of threw the tent up. It's good enough for now. I'll fix it later, but the sun's starting to go down. I'm getting eager to go to glass. So, at least it's up enough. Well, I've got to mess with it really in the dark, so let's go find some critters. All right, guys, moment of truth here. Coming up on the bush, I stashed my water in last week. Hopefully it's still there. There was a lot of cows, I was hoping they wouldn't mess with it. Oh yeah, it's in there. It's in there. Sweet. Ugh. Is it full? It's empty. What the? No way. Dude, I don't have any water. Crap. I really cannot believe my water jug was spilled. But check out these views. Absolutely gorgeous. No sign of my antelope. No sign of any deer. Seen some does and fawns, but no bucks. But man, it's peaceful. Well, here we are. Night one. Tent living. Um really sucks that, that water jug broke man I think I'm gonna get up at 2 a.m hike back to the truck to try to meet Will around 4 and grab as much water as I can fit in my pack and bring it back in here it's gonna suck kind of defeats the purpose of me coming in tonight but we need water 
Tonight's dinner is Mountain House Beef Stroganoff. I've never had any freeze-dried meals or anything. Been spoiled. Everyone says Mountain House sucks. It's not bad. I don't hate it. Tastes pretty good after a long day. Anyways, I'm going to scarf this guy down. Get a few hours of sleep and... Get up and go get some water. So, see you guys then. Good morning, guys. It is the third. About... 3.30 a.m. As you can see, I got my pack all packed up and my bow ready to go. Uh, some extra water. It's going to be a good three days. Um, I think that's all I got for now, other than it's go time. Well, this is not the tent. Uh, I did it. I got up at 2 a.m. Not that I really slept to begin with. I probably got like three, four hours of sleep. Slept like garbage. Um, got up at 2. Came back to the truck. It's 4.30 now. Will should be showing up any minute. So, came to get water. And uh, had him bring some, some snacks from Loaf and Jug, too, so... Oh, that's where we're at. Uh, waiting on Will. Tired. I'm already chafing. Legs are already tired. But, got three days, so I'm going to grind it through and hopefully get an arrow on something. So, really hoping that antelope turns up today. Hiked around all last night, everywhere I've seen them and didn't turn them up. So, hopefully he's still alive. Hopefully I find him today. Hopefully we get into some deer. But yeah, just waiting for Willie. Here he comes. Here comes Willie. Actually pretty good timing. I've only been here for probably five minutes, so. Heck yeah. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning. <laughs> there you are. You brought the goods? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I bought, I brought breakfast too. Oh, oh yeah. Some donuts. Some calories. Pretty good timing. I've only been here for like five minutes. All right, camp set. Water. We have water. Will's all set up. Tucked up in this cut away from the wind. Now we're gonna go out and find some critters. Let's go. Let's go time. <laughs> Glassed up the first shed. Let's go pick it up. Hiking over. Pick up that shed. I look over. I see that shed. Boop. I'm like, hey, there's one, Willie. He's like, yeah, right there. I can't even, oh, you can barely see it right there. 
he sees that one. So we got three sheds right here. Let's go pick them up. So now you guys have seen this too many times. It's not going to turn into a shed hunt, I promise. <laughs> We're actually looking for animals today. Bet. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Four point? Oh, chalk. Chalk. Newer chalk, though. Yeah, not, not too bad condition chalk. Nice. Let's follow that one's mate. Cool, 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 cool. All right. might, might have to drop the pack and do a couple loops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's not going to turn into a shed, huh? I can't help it. 30 seconds later. Oh, no. This is a way better buck. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yours, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's a good shed. That's a good shed. I think it's that guy's mate. I think so. How old is it? It's chalk, probably three or four years. All right, where's his son at? I need him alive. All right, find these guys packing. <sighs> Man, look at that. Maybe it's a completely different buck altogether. All right, guys, just walking up on the third one. This is the first one that Andrew glassed. Oh, here's another one right here. Oh shit, he just found another one. Not in the world. So that is not that guy's mate. Oh yeah. I don't even know if that's that guy's mate. Probably. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Heck yeah, Let's keep doing this. Another shed, still no deer. We've been trying guys, but look at the base on that thing. Yeah, I don't know if it's broken. Huh, well that's neat. Working our way back to the truck, or to camp, not the truck I guess. Came back through this pocket where we found all the sheds this morning. Because, you know, if we can't find deer, we're going to find some antlers. Popped over and I got another one right here. Smaller. I'm trying to find the other side of that big four point, but I don't think this one's it. Definitely not. It's really super old. Chucky. Let's see what else is in here. Continuing our shed hunting trip. Decent three. Chucky. Chucky. Alright guys, it took us all day. We finally found a buck. He's on private, but he's close to public. I'm trying to get some phone scope right now, so check this out. But where we're sitting is super windy, so. Yeah, so you guys are about to see some super shaky footage of a deer that we can't shoot. You're welcome. Phone scope footy! Let's go footy through a phone. Second 
to his tags and stuff. I thought that we had a pretty good plan. Hopefully better results. There we go. Day number three. Get a head up on top of that knob. Do some glassing. Lucky there. A little elk shed. Let's go scoop it up. There you go. It's this year's brownie. Nice little five. Too. Walking up to check out another suspicious thing. I think it's right over this hill. Walked up on this nice freaking deer shed. Heavy three. Let's get her picked up. No cracks. Decent three point. Cool base on him. Wait, let's find some more. I lost Will. He's coming back looking for him. I saw that stick going across his drain. I was like, huh, be a good place for a shed to fall off. And I looked right there. Little ragger. Sweet. I gotta go find Will. Well, as you can see, we're back at camp. And we have a lot of water. So we gotta pack it up and get out of here. We got enough water to make it out. That's what we could come up with. Decent little pile of sheds. Didn't even get a stock on an animal. But I did see my antelope this morning. I'll show you guys a little footage right here. Oh, you got anything to say? Back at it next weekend. Uh -huh. I'll be chasing elk. So. Yeah, we'll be elk hunting. I probably won't be hunting. If I do, it'll be after that POS over there. You can come be my camera guy. <laughs> camera guy? Alright, we're gonna get her packed up. Boogie on out, guys. Alright. Back at the truck, and got some unfinished business here, so we'll be back in a couple weeks. Well, it's another beautiful morning out here in the Wyoming Prairie. Hiking in, try to get that antelope. Could see a deer too, that'd be a bonus. Really trying to get that antelope today. Hopefully he's up on the public. I don't know why I'm stressing so bad about this antelope. It's probably because I can't hunt the first two days of the rifle opener. Because my daughter's got that bull tag. I mean, I doubt anyone's going to hike nine miles in here, but... You never know. So I got to do everything I can to get this guy, just in case somebody does the first two days. So, anyways... Starting out freaking gorgeous. 
The highs only supposed to be like 74 today. That's about 20, 25 degrees cooler than it was when me and Will were out here a couple weeks ago. So anyways, keep you guys updated. Look at that, spiker. It's the first buck I've seen on public hunting. He's definitely, definitely in the past. Like, not even a question, but. Getting better. Those last time, we got a spiker already this time. Let's find his daddy. Oh, I was just walking along, and would you look at that? That's a vintage bud. And it's gonna stay here. First shot of the day. Still hiking in. It's so nice that it's not already freaking blazing hot though, so can't complain. Well, it's super windy per usual. Uh, I just been kind of darting across this valley, different vantage points. Turn it around. Where this buck, where the antelope's been hanging out, and uh, no sign of him. I did glass up on the other side of this hill. A big herd of does, and looks like a pretty good buck over there. Um, really wanting this one over here though I did I got a dead antelope laying out in this flat but the way its head is it's like behind a sagebrush God, I hope it's not him I'm gonna probably walk down there at least get some different angles open i mean it looks like the rut's kicking on bucks are chasing does so i'm really hoping he just ran a doe into the ground literally and it wasn't somebody that got back here and got an arrow in him last weekend and lost him but anyways that's where i'm at i do have i mean look like a good buck up behind me but just really got an attachment to this one, so I'm gonna keep picking this stuff apart. Check out that dead one, and then all else fails, I might slip back there and see what I can do about that one. So. sucks uh I, I don't see any way that's not him out there but somebody got an arrow in him last week they made it onto that private and died and they didn't either were denied permission or just didn't even try to get permission to recover him and that sucks i'm way in here i don't know who else is crazy enough to come bow hunt antelope this deep but Just a punch to the gut right there. I'm gonna keep coming in here. I'm out deer and I love tags, so I'll keep an eye out. Maybe that was a doe. I'm really doubting it though. So right now, I'm gonna audible. I'm gonna hike back over this big hill. And it's probably two miles to where uh where I saw that other big buck. About an hour ago, so problem with him is he's got like 15 does and another little satellite buck. Trying to get in down there too, so a lot of eyeballs. 
like I said, he was probably a mile and a half, two miles when I saw him. So I'm at least going to close the distance, see if he's something I should even worry about. But he looked good from there. So I'll see you guys here in a minute. So I always think it's funny how this happens. I glassed up a deadhead down there. Either a shed or a deadhead up there. Looking for deer antelope, but nothing. I stood up. Get put my pack on the leaf. <laughs> There's a shed right there. I was just sitting right here glassing. Freaking weird how that works sometimes. Super old shock three. I kind of messed up. Ah, kind of messed up. I just kept hiking, right? Looked at my onyx. 11.3 miles. So I was like, dude, you gotta freaking turn around. But when I got out this far, I bumped three big muleys. So this is the level they're at. What do we got here? Brownie. Whew. It might be this out of my five. I don't know. It's another nice five. Heck yeah. It's down in this super deep drainage. Let's pick that thing up. Sweet. A whale tail on that guy. Look at the beam. Holy cow. Beamer for days. Heck yeah. All right with that, that's pretty cool. Look at the beam. Sweet. I have to walk this wash up and down, see if we can find the other side or another one. Walking the fence line. Oh, fence line shed. Nice four point. Sweet. Back at it again with another shed. Oh. Sweet. Literally just put all the other ones on my back. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna carry this one for a while. Well, in the truck, I'm gonna close out today. Pretty uneventful day as far as stocks or anything go. Saw some deer. And the biggest thing for today was uh, that dead antelope. Hopefully not being my buck, but and as I did 24 miles on my boots today, 24 miles and like a little over 2,700 feet elevation gain and loss. So I'm tired. I am tired, but anyways, I'm gonna just head home and regroup. All right, that wraps up part one. Uh, stay tuned for part two. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Uh, part two, I believe, will be the final part to these hunts. Uh, last choice, we drew the deer for our second choice, and I drew the antelope for my third choice. So those are our last choice options for Wyoming. We're trying to make the best of it. As you can see, we're putting in the work. So stay tuned for uh, the second half.